Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it's about a foundation review again and this time it's about the trending foundation and many of you asked me to review about it. So I'm doing it now. The newest foundation from Maybelline, it's the Dream Velvet Soft uh, Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. And according to them, this is the first gel whipped foundation. I'm in the shade 40 or nude and I believe this is the lightest shade of the collection. I decided to try this one. I fell for the hype. I bought this at SM department store for only 374 pesos, I think. Yeah. Its original price is 499 pesos. But since it was on sale, so I just paid for 374 pesos. And it's still on sale up to September 30 only. If you plan to buy, just go to Watson's or any department stores that has Maybelline products or counters. You can have yours. So as you can see, I don't have anything on my face. I just did my brow so that I will not look like any <laughs> <laughs> So I just did my brows para naman maganda naman yung mukha ko kahit uh, wala pang makeup. So I'm gonna try half of my face first. I'm gonna use brush in the other half of my face and for this side of my face, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna use my fingers. But we can try which method is best for this foundation. So let's begin. This is the consistency of the foundation and it's not watery. Parang whipped cream. <laughs> so this side of my face, my left side, this is my left side. I'm gonna put the foundation using my uh, Real Technique brush. So I'm not using any primer or anything on my face so that we can really test how long will it last. I think I put too much. This time, on my right side, I will just use my bare hands. Let's see if there's a difference compared to brush. So here it is guys, this is the side that I use the brush and the side I use my fingers. So for me, mas nagustuhan ko yung finger application lang because it gives a natural finish compared to the brush that it gives me like, parang obvious na obvious na ng foundation ka, parang ganun. Yung effect sa akin ha, ewan ko lang sa iba. About its coverage, uh, when you use the brush, covers more the blemishes or the discolorations but yun nga parang obvious na obvious na foundation ka so yun yung result sa akin while on this side using just my fingers did not give a 100% coverage siguro nasa mga 60-70 uh, like that but the coverage is still okay it just looks so natural compared to this side that uh, you really look like a foundation yung parang pa first Kita mo pa lang, oh, yun foundation ka pa <laughs> About the finish, um, this side, it really feels velvety smooth. You can really just leave the foundation alone on your face. But for me, I'm a combination toy with skin. So I need to set it with powder so that it will not look oily later. So, what else? It's not heavy on your face and it's very, very lightweight. When in person, it's very natural looking. For me, ha. But when I use brush, it kind of gives me the effect that uh, I really look like I, I did put a foundation on my face. Compared to my other side, my right side that I use, I just use my hands. It gives me a natural finish. So 
this is what the foundation looks like on my face and I will just do the rest of my makeup and I will get back to you guys later. So I'm back and here's my uh, finished makeup look for today. And the time now is, sorry it's so late in the afternoon. <laughs> it's already 3.28 p.m. So this is my face as of the moment. So I'll just be around the house. I will just be doing some house chores, attend the kids, and yeah, I'll just be around the house. And I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, so I'm back and it's now 6.11 in the evening. I think it's been almost three hours already so this is my face now I don't know if the camera can tell you that I'm a bit oily already so I'm gonna focus this so this is what my face looks like now So I'm a bit oily and especially if you can see me in person right now, obvious na obvious yung oiliness, especially on my nose and then dito. Sa camera medyo dui effect lang siya but in person I'm really oily. Kasi hindi naman din sinabi ng foundation that you will stay matte all day. Soft matte finish lang pero hindi sinabi all day matte. So, in terms sa ano, oil control, I don't think maganda siya. But I think it's best for uh, dry skin tone. But anyways, I will still give an update later. Siguro, uh, well, let's see kung anong time ako mag-update. Try natin mag-blot, okay? So, I have a blotting paper here. And we'll try to blot. Look, oh, yan. Look guys, sa sobrang oil na nakuha niya, napunit yung, <laughs> napunit yung blotting paper ko kasi super soft na siya sa oil. I mean, super ano na siya, nasoak na siya sa oil. Kaya medyo napunit na siya. And then you can see, oh, may transfer. Nag-transfer yung foundation sa blotting paper. So, let's see hours later if magiging oily pa ba siya or anong magiging karabasan ng face ko, okay? So, I'll get back to you later. So, bye! Hi guys! And I'm back again and the time now is 9.37 in the evening and this is my face now. Can you see the oil? How oily is my face right now? Especially on my nose. Here on my nose, it's so oily. Hindi maganda yung oil control niya. Kahit nag-blot ako kanina, how much more hindi ako nag-blot. Okay to siya sa mga dry skin. Kasi pag dry skin yung gumamit, parang dui effect na yung mangyayari. Eh kasi ako, combination to oily skin. Yung T-zone ko nag-oil up talaga. If nakikita nyo guys, look. Nag-transfer yung foundation sa shirt ko. Hindi siya transfer proof. I'll try to block my face again. Oh! So again guys, napunit na naman <laughs> yung blotting paper. 
Ayan no, ang daming oil. So my final say about this product, it's true that it is a velvety smooth. Matte finish naman talaga siya after applying it. But after a few hours, nag oil up talaga siya. So definitely, hindi siya bagay sa skin ko. Or hindi siya bagay sa akin. Or should I say, hindi siya bagay sa mga oily skin people. Para sa akin na nga. But I have watched reviews na yung mga dry skin. Uh, bet nila tong mga ganito kasi nga nanong hindi nagda-dry yung skin nila. Due effect to sa kanila eh. Pero sa mga oily skin, dala kayo always ng blotting paper. <laughs> and maybe one of the reasons also is that I didn't use any mattifying primer for the product to be tested as is. So, yun nga, naging oily yung face ko. But maybe next time, I will try to use this with a mattifying primer and then we'll see what will be the result. And also, um, I forgot to tell you kanina that, uh, I really didn't set this um, foundation. I forgot to show this kanina. I use this setting powder from Rimmel. This is Stay Matte Long Lasting Press Powder. But I just did a little dabbing on my face. Kasi gusto ko talaga itry yung foundation na as is lang siya. Wala siya. Hindi masyadong set yung powder. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, simple review and demo of the Dream Velvet, uh, of the Maybelline Dream Velvet soft matte hydrating foundation. I'm gonna use this again but next time I will be really using a mattifying primer and a super uh, mattifying powder so that I will not get oily. So that's it guys for my mini foundation review and I hope you guys don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like this video and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that I can give you an update. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!